Welcome back. Well, just like his op-eds, President Biden making some bold claims on Twitter yesterday. He tweeted this. At the time I took office about 16 months ago, the economy had stalled and COVID was out of control. Today, thanks to an economic, the economic plan and the vaccination plan that my administration put into action, America has achieved the most robust recovery in modern history. I'm not sure where he gets this most robust recovery in modern history. The tweet comes as gasoline prices reach more than double what they were when Biden took office and inflation hits 40-year highs. Dagan McDowell, I don't know how you could call this a robust economic recovery knowing that we are actually in a contraction. We had a contraction in the first quarter of 1.4 percent. Another quarter of a contraction would officially be a recession, Dagan. Right. 40-year high inflation wages, when adjusting for that inflation, are falling, lowering our standard of living, making people poor. And then you've had gasoline prices and diesel prices, but gas prices specifically have more than doubled since Joe Biden took office. I will just say what I said to Lee in the commercial break. What is he talking about? He's, this administration is better off just saying nothing. And by the way, I was sitting at my desk and I did the numbers. The economy still hasn't recovered all the jobs lost during the shutdown at the very beginning of the pandemic. And it's not just the talk that's so offensive. It's really the walk out of this administration. It's the fact that Biden and company have inflicted this pain and suffering on the American people knowingly and intentionally. He promised it on the campaign yeah. trail that we're going to transition away from the oil industry. And that has crushed families, individuals, and businesses in this nation. So just pipe down. If you're not going to do anything about it, zip it. Yeah, and I was struck, Lee, when I first read this line in that op-ed he wrote for the Wall Street Journal, or his, his, you know, his handlers wrote, and he used the same line, the most robust recovery in, 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 American, in modern history. I have no idea what he's talking about. This is just not true. No one knows what he's talking about. I mean, 83 percent of Americans right now feel that the economy is, is either poor um, or not good. They say that 71 percent are saying we're going in the wrong direction. His approval rating is is at 40 percent, which is less than, you know, than, than Donald Trump's was at this point, that even Donald Trump's is today. It's lower than Jimmy Carter's approval rating was at the same point in his presidency. And he seems completely out of touch. And one thing I think Americans really expected from Joe Biden was that he was going to be able to relate to them. Right now, what he's really doing is demonstrating that he's completely out of touch and people are losing hope that there's anything that he or the Democrats are going to be able to do to make their lives better. And so, um, yeah. The, the, he's not he's not even he, what was the empathy he's not even empathetic he's at at the very least apathetic if not sadistic given what they have done to the american people and i'll add one more thing this word robust have a little bit of history of popular culture. There was an episode of Veep that was completely built around the use of the word robust as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny, Dagan. What, what really gets me is that there's such a tin ear. My sources tell me that today in the Democrat Senate lunch, uh, Senate Democrats uh, during lunch today, they're going to cover and reveal all of their details of the Schumer Mansion conversations of a new fiscal framework. Yes, they are looking at another reconciliation package, and Chuck Schumer has been pushing all of these ideas from the Build Back Better to get Joe Manchin and Christian Cinema on board. They've got four major areas largely tracking with uh, the uh, Frankenstein fiscal model, is how Cowan writes about it. They uh, apparently child care is out and Medica Medicaid gap is in. They've got a whole new reconciliation package with a trillion in spending that Chuck Schumer wants Joe Manchin and Christian Cinema on board. So we'll be hearing a lot about that coming up.